The first beta of Android 15 is expected to come out this month, which I'm really excited for, but at the same time, I do have my wish list for Android 15 based on my experience with other operating systems. I think Google should give extra attention to these features to enhance the user experience even further, and I'm sure you have your own wish list, so please let me know in the comments about yours. But for now, let me take you through what I have in mind. Starting with the lock screen, I would love to see the lock screen widgets making a comeback after being killed off by Google in Android 5. A decade later, Apple released the lock screen widgets with iOS 16, and shortly after we got it in One UI 6. With a simple glance at your phone's screen, you can see your battery info, upcoming calendar events, fitness stats, quick shortcuts to your smart home controls, and tons of third-party apps info. There is evidence in Android 14 QPR2 code hinting at a possible comeback for the feature with Android 15, which I hope for. Live activities is another iOS feature that I would love to see on Android. Isn't it cool to see live updates for your Uber ride or food delivery order right on your lock screen while doing other stuff without the need to get distracted by unlocking your phone every now and then to check yourself? And lastly, Google needs to spice things up with more styling options. Both One UI and iOS do offer a lot of filters and effects for the lock screen wallpapers with the ability to separate the subject from the background, which opens the door for some cool tricks that enhances the overall look. Now let's talk about the home screen which needs a lot of housekeeping. I desperately need the ability to multi-select apps for bulk actions like other operating systems to delete, reorder, or remove apps from my home screen. Not to mention the lack of reordering or hiding home screen pages. Every time I decide to swap a couple of my home screen pages, I give up because of the amount of effort needed to do such a simple thing. Moving to the at a glance widget, I have a couple of suggestions. I'm personally a fan of this feature, but it's not for everyone, so having the option to remove it entirely is a good idea. And if I decided to use it, I would love to see a better design rather than a plain text. The Google's app at a glance widget looks much better and I wish to see the same design making its way to the native one. And we are not only forced to use the at a glance widget, but Google's search bar is another thing that I have to deal with. So I hope to see the option to take it off as well, plus the ability to resize it and style it would be a plus. Google also decided to remove the app notifications from the app shortcuts menu. That was one of the features I always use for easier access to my notifications rather than pulling down the notifications shade and go through the whole list to reach what I want, which is something you still can enjoy in One UI. The last thing to talk about in this area is the lack of widget stacking which is a great feature for saving space and minimize the scrolling between pages to get access to the information you need, which is possible on One UI and iOS. So that's it when it comes to the home screen, and now let's talk about the widgets. I suggest if Google can add the camera widget feature that we first saw in One UI 6, you can set it to open the camera on a specific camera mode, which is handy in situations where every second matters. The second point is the inconsistency in editing the widget style. For example, when you tap and hold on the clock widget, you get the option to edit the style, which is much easier than removing and re-adding the widget from scratch, but something like this Google Photos doesn't have. So you have to remove and re-add it to change the style, which is the case for many other apps. Next, the wallpaper and the style app. Google recently added a lot of cool features like the cinematic wallpapers, different styles for the lock screen clock with the ability to change the size and color, and more material new color options. But what I hope to see is the ability to apply some edits to the wallpaper before setting, like adding a blur effect, change colors, and the transparency same as iOS and One UI. The next category is the camera. While Pixel phones take the best photos in my opinion, but Google lacks behind in certain areas. The most critical issue is portrait photos. Till now, the subject isolation of the camera app is not on par with the competition, and what's even more annoying is Google Photos has much better subject isolation when you apply the blur effect after the fact, even though both apps are developed by Google. On top of this, Google never allowed Pixel users to take portraits using the telephoto, which is kinda weird, as most manufacturers do have the option. The third issue is the lens switching performance. I do admit that it's better with Android 15 Developer Preview 2, but it's not as good as Samsung phones which come second, and nowhere near the iPhone's fluidity, which is the king in this area. Number four is the video performance and lack of features when compared to the competition. For example, there is no option to take blur videos with the front camera like others, the resolution is limited to 1080p in blur videos and active stabilization, 
Video Boost is only limited to the main camera even though the worst video quality comes from the front, ultra-wide and telephoto lenses. Plus, I would love to see this feature working locally on device rather than waiting for the server processing. So that's it when it comes to the camera and finally I would like to address some random things. First, when you dig deeper inside settings, you might come across these pages that have a dated design, they look like Android Jelly Bean, and for some unknown reason, Google decided not to touch them. Number two is the lack of a transparent home bar that looks weird in certain apps. There are some hints in Android code for a possible fix coming soon, but we heard this a lot before, so I hope this is the time. And lastly, I would love to see the option to map the power button double press to other things instead of only opening the camera, maybe a Google Wallet shortcut, the flashlight, or a certain camera mode within the camera app, so the ideas are endless. So that was my wish list for Android 15. I'm sure there are a lot more features to be added to the list, but I think these are the top priority ones and they have a direct impact on our daily usage. I will be extremely happy to see these features in the upcoming version of Android, so please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.